while I'm back. Um, and I remember that I handed this guy out to you guys as well. And this was graphs of functions and then vertical line test for functions, which we already know. Um, and we know that the domain of a function is all your x values, the range is all your y values. And then it gets into functions increasing, decreasing, or constant. It says a function is increasing at an interval if when your two when x1 is smaller than x2, this implies that the y value of that at that point is smaller than that y value on there. But you guys also know that when the slopes of your tangents are positive, you know you're increasing, you know you're decreasing also is another nice way of saying is that all your tangent lines are negative. And then if a function is constant, that means um, the y values at um, each uh, point are exactly the same, so a constant function would look like this. And what's interesting is the slope at every point here would be equal to, because it's a horizontal line, if you said zero, you are correct. Now, one of the more interesting things that I'd like to talk about are your odd versus your even functions, okay? A function is considered even if it is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. And what that means is if I plug in um, a value like say f of negative 2 that's going to be equal to f of 2 that in other words negative 2 and positive 2 are going to have the same y value and that means that it's an even function so if I were to just take something like a parabola okay and if I were to plug in let's say I did y equals good old x squared because that's a nice little function then if I plugged in a negative 2 I would get a positive 4 and then if I plugged in a positive 2, I would get a positive 4. So when they both have the same y value, I can now say it's even because you're the same distance away from that axis of symmetry. This is called an axis of symmetry. Okay? Now a function is odd if it's symmetric with respect to the origin. So in other words, if I plug in a negative x value, I get a negative y value. If I plug in a positive x value, I should get a positive y value. And a nice function to look at is considered a cubic function like y equals x cubed. So if I were to find f of negative 1, it would be negative 1 to the third power, which would be equal to negative 1. And another way to determine if a function is odd also is that if you pick a point, this is 1, and then over here is negative 1, they are always going to be the same distance. That's what it means to be symmetric to the origin. So if I pick a point up here, if this is like 2 comma 8, then down here is going to be negative 2 comma negative 8, and they are going to be the same distance away from the origin. So that's essentially another way of saying that that's an odd function. Okay. Now, I want you to think about the sine and the cosine. So y equals sine of x and y equals the cosine of x. Odd or even. I'm going to ask you guys to tell me, based on those graphs, who's odd and who's even, and you're going to share that with me on Thursday when I see you. So let's go to the back page. Let's go to the back page. And if you want to do the domain of this function, you can see that this actually stops. So your domain is um, over here at negative 2, but then you stop over here at 1, 2, 3, but it doesn't include 3. So your domain is from negative 2 inclusive and then 3 with an open parenthesis because 3 is not in the domain, and then your range is your lowest y value to your highest y value. And in this instance, our lowest y value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? So that's going to be negative 7 inclusive to the highest y value, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? So it's increasing on the interval from um, negative 2 to positive 7, right? So negative 2 to positive 7. The, no, positive, no, sorry, it's the x value. So it's from negative 2 to positive 1. So negative 2 to 1, because this is the x values that we're talking about. And then from 1 to um, 3. 1 to 3. Okay? Constant on the interval. Nope, there's nothing constant because there are no horizontal lines. Odd or even function or neither. So now for me, if I look at this, it has to be symmetric to the x axis or the y axis, or it has to be symmetric to the origin. So this one is a neither for me because if I draw my, there is no axis of symmetry actually, and even if I were up at the vertex, it wouldn't happen. Okay, the domain for this function looks like all real numbers, as does the range, and it's increasing on the interval from here to here, and then from there, and it's decreasing there. There are no constants. Now, if I look at this function, I can tell you right now. 
but this is an odd function because if you were to take this point here and that point there, they are the same distance away from the um, origin. And then the other thing you can look at is that you have one comma negative two, and then the other point is negative one comma two. So when they flip flop like that, right, where it's like one goes to a negative two, a negative one goes to a positive two, where they do a flippity flop, that is also another way of saying that that is an even function, okay? Um, the domain of the function is going from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is negative seven, non-inclusive, right? All the way to one, two, three, four, five. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six. Okay. Inclusive. Um, the range is going from eight, from negative eight. Oops. It's up there. Negative eight to two. Okay. That should be up there. Increasing on the interval from here to here, decreasing from there to there, and it's constant on the interval from one, two, three, four, five, from negative five two, one. Okay. Again, odd, even, or neither. I hope you guys look at this and you're like, this is absolutely going to be a neither because there is no symmetry with respect to the x-axis or I'm sorry, with respect to the y-axis. I keep saying that it's y, you guys, it's y. Um, and it's not symmetric to the origin. So this is a neither. Um, this is, by the way, if I go back to this, this is considered a piecewise function and a piecewise function, it basically represents three functions that represent a graph where I can restrict the domain, which we'll start writing um, in a couple of days or a couple of weeks actually, we'll be able to write piecewise functions for any type of function. But this represents three different graphs for this particular function. And we can basically say you only want part of the line where X goes from here to here and the horizontal line from there to there and so forth. So again, this is a piecewise function and we will visit how to write the equations for those. This right here, I hope you guys all recognize as an absolute value function. The letter B, I think you saw that back in Algebra 1 when you were your children. So anyway, your domain is all reals. Your range, the lowest y value, 1, 2, 3, 4, is going to be greater than or equal to negative 4 because it starts at negative 4 and goes off into the sunset. Here it's decreasing. Here it's increasing. There are no constants. Stop that. And then we can definitely say that this is an even function because if I draw this line right through there, you are the same distance away here as you are there. Even if I go from here, you're the same distance as you are there. Okay, so that takes care of your even and odd functions. And I will show you a mathematical way of determining if a function is even and odd as time goes on. And I'm going to stop here with this particular video. And I'll see you soon.